In the previous video, we created a basic login page, just a simple form where users could enter their username. Now, in this video, we're going to take it a step further by using Flask's session feature to actually remember the user after they log in. We'll build a login system where users can log in, access a dashboard, and log out, all without using a database. Let's get started and see how it works. In the last video, we created a basic login.html file, but now we're going to update it. First, I'm deleting everything from the old version so we can start fresh. I'm adding a simple form where users can type their username and log in. That's it, clean and easy. Now let's move on and, and create a brand new HTML file. This one will be called dashboard.html. It's going to greet the user with a welcome message that includes their username. We'll also add a logout link so users can safely log out when they're done. Simple but powerful. All right, now it's time to update our main.py file. I'm removing all the old code from the previous video and replacing it with a cleaner version. At the very top, we import everything we need from Flask. Flask, session, redirect, URL4, request, and render template. These will help us create the app, handle forms, manage sessions, and render our HTML pages. Then we create a Flask app instance with app equals Flask score name. Right after that, we set a secret key. This key is super important because it's what Flask uses to securely store session data. You can think of it like a password for your app session system. Next, we define our login route at slash login. This route accepts both get and post requests. If it's a get request, we just show the login form using login.html. But if the request is post, meaning the user submitted the form, we grab the username from the form and store it in the session. Then we redirect the user to the dashboard. Now for the dashboard route. Here's the cool part. We check if the user is already in the session. If they are, that means they've logged in. So we show them the dashboard page and pass their username into the template. If they're not logged in, we redirect them right back to the login page. Simple and secure. And finally, we have a logout route. When the user goes to slash logout, we remove their info from the session using session.pop. Then we show a simple message saying they've been logged out with a link to log in again. At the very bottom, we run the app in debug mode so we can test everything while we're developing. Once that's done, we can run our Flask app and test it out. First, I try to access the dashboard page without logging in. And guess what? It redirects me to the login page, just like we set it up in the code. Now I enter a username and click the login button. I'm taken straight to the dashboard. Awesome. I open the dashboard in another tab and it works there too because my session is active. Then I go back to the first tab and click the logout button. The session ends. When I refresh the second tab, boom, I'm logged out there too. Now I can log in again and both tabs will have access to the dashboard since I'm logged in again. In this video, we learned how to create a simple session-based login system using Flask. We didn't use any databases, just HTML, Flask, and Python session feature. Hope this was helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.